Can you use a portable power station as an EV range extender? Well, I've got an EV here with not a lot of range. So let's find out, shall we? This is the Afari P280 portable power station. If you think it looks familiar, that's because it almost looks identical to the P210 that we featured in a previous video where I charged the Dacia Spring to show whether or not this would make a decent EV range extender. And we came to the conclusion that, yeah, sort of, I guess, if you're stuck. But the P280 is a little bit different. And that is because it supports additional slave batteries. So we've got this port on the side here and you can connect it to additional batteries to increase the amount of capacity you've got. So this is a, a roughly two kilowatt hour battery, just like the P210 was, but then you can buy additional ones, which aren't the full thing. They don't have the, all the outputs and stuff, it's just the battery, and you can stack them up. And I'll put a picture of them. I don't have any of the slave batteries to demonstrate to you, but you can stack them up and you can increase the capacity you've got, which would make it even more suitable for EV charging. All the other features are fairly similar, but one notable addition is a second solar input. So you can actually have 1200 watts of solar go into this. So if you wanna charge these using solar panels, if you're living off grid or in your camper van or whatever, it supports twice the amount, of, supports more than twice the amount of input than the P210 did. And that's a really, really big upgrade. So I think that coupled with the fact you can have multiple batteries makes this a worthwhile upgrade. If you were considering buying one of these and you haven't quite got your hands on a P210 yet, this could be a really good option for you. It's got all the same outputs, USB-Cs, 12 volts, all that lovely stuff. We got the questionable utility light on there, which I don't really know why they always include them on these. And they seem to have lost, the, there was a little storage thing on the P210, which was kind of useless because this little bag with cables didn't fit in it anyway, as we found. Um, but on the whole, very, very similar. If you'd seen the P210 before, this will make you feel very well at home. And we got the three 230 volt outputs on there. But can we use it as an EV range extender? Well, let's uh, find out, shall we? This Citroen C1 EV, if you haven't seen the initial video introducing this, you definitely want to check that out. But basically, it's a shonky converted EV uh, that took an original petrol Citroen C1 and turned it into an electric car. And it charges through this sort of industrial connector here and can be charged from a three pin plug. So a perfect candidate then for charging from the Afri P280. Let's get it plumbed up and see if we can add some range, shall we? So this, I unboxed this and plugged it in uh, to obviously get it fully charged. We're charged to 100%, as you can see on the lovely big display here. It didn't take that long at all to charge. I think it's only been plugged in for about 45 minutes or something. Now, obviously it wasn't totally empty. Uh, it was charged to about 28% or something when it arrived, but a quite impressive charging time. I'd say they, they, you know, they charge fairly quickly. I think it pulls um, a, a decent amount from the mains. So we can see that you can top these up fairly quickly. And that means that if you have 1200 watts of solar going into it, you're going to top them up in a decent amount of time as well. But let's get it plugged in to the C1 EV and see if we can get it charging. So it's not actually looking good for this one. So we plug in using the quite janky looking power cord. And we turn it on. Starts ramping up. And then it cuts off. Now, I don't know if it's that it's trying to pull a little bit too much, although this does have a 2800 watt power output, or if there's something about the onboard charger in this that it doesn't like. I'd say that was much more likely. <clears throat> and if I plug this in to the mains, it starts charging as it should. So yeah, something about the C1 EV that the uh, 
Afri P280 isn't too keen on. Let's see if we try it on another EV with a granny charger and see if it's any better. So after a brief intermission, we're back with a much bigger, but probably not that much more rangey vehicle, my Vauxhall Vivaro E. And if we turn the camera back around, you can see we are now plugged in and charging with this granny charger. Pulling nine amps at the moment, it's set to 10 amps, but it's pulling nine. And you can see outputting 2.15 kilowatt hour, kilowatts. And we will deplete this battery in 42 minutes at that rate. Now, obviously, if we had the slave batteries and had more capacity, it would go on for a little bit longer. But as you can see, we are charging and we are adding some much needed range to my Vivaro. Now, probably going to be a little bit less impactful given the woeful economy of this vehicle. Um, you, you definitely, if you're going to use something like this as a range extender, you're going to want to try starting with a car that is a bit more economical in the first place but it is charging and it is doing what it should immediate bit of feedback i think on this is this flap here on the p210 it opened up and on the p280 it opens down and it makes it really awkward to get a uk plug in there and that's a really big miss from afri on this one um and actually most people will end up just tearing that off because any molded plug like this is going to be a tight squeeze. I've had to use the middle one because these hinges get in the way. And um, yeah, I think that's a really, really big miss from Afri there. If that f flap either went up or to the side, it'd be much, much better because it falls down. It's not really any use with a UK plug. And most people will end up just tearing that off. So that is definitely a bit of a miss and definitely where the P280 uh, could be improved for sure. Okay, so it has been about 50 minutes or so. And as we can see, we are now fully depleted on the battery. So in theory, we've uh, transferred the two kilowatt hours ish. Now, as we found the last time, there's always charging losses. It's probably more like 1.6 kilowatt hours has actually ended up in the van. Um, let's see what we've actually got in terms of additional range. I don't think it will be very much, but... Oh, we have added four miles of range, which doesn't surprise me. This van is very uneconomical, especially in the cold. It's probably only doing two miles per kilowatt hour, maybe even less. But I think as we demonstrated before, can you use this as an EV range extender? Yes. Would that be its primary purpose in your life? No, probably not. Although if you did have the extra stack of batteries and therefore more capacity, it would certainly put in a much better shift. But that is the Afri P280. A well-built, well-performing piece of kit, which you're going to want for camping or using in a power cut or something like that. It's not really going to be much use to you as an EV range extender, even if you do have all those extra batteries. But if you need a portable power station, you want a backup, it is a really good bit of kit. I am disappointed about that flap below the, the power plugs, the way it folds down. As I said, it's a bit awkward with moulded UK plugs. That feels like a bit of a miss, and that's definitely a criticism I've got. But on the whole, another really good bit of kit that performs really well. And it's definitely one you should be considering if you're in the market for a portable power station. Particularly if that ability to expand beyond that sort of 2 kilowatt hours is something that appeals to you. If you want those extra slave batteries. And also the fact that it'll take that 1200 watts input of solar. So if you want to put a lot more solar into it than the like of the P210 or other competitor products. It sounds like it could be worth a look. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to Afari who sent me this unit to review. And I'll, please do let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I don't wouldn't read too much into the fact they wouldn't charge the Citroen C1 EV. I think that says a lot more about that car than it does about the power station. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.